Scotch Ford Dummies. <laughs> that that <laughs> just happened. I, yeah, I missed the last it's Scotch Ford Dummies seconds. and Brother Mark. Wow. We're the guy that just won't leave. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, hey, guys. Happy, Happy Thursday. Thursday, right? <laughs> Cheers, Chad. It's good to see you boys. Um, I have absolutely no idea who's Your drink's online. darker than mine. Uh, I've been told hey. that I need to lay off the comments <laughs> a little bit. You won't pay more attention to you guys as opposed to uh, well, the, the digital. What? So. Um, I don't know who's in the comments, but um, it's Thursday night. What's going on? I don't know. This is going to be a kind of fly by the seat of our pants night. We don't have a guest. I love it. Um, but we've got some guests lined up, so oh, I can that start is good. with that. Um, in the next couple weeks, it. hopefully. Well, not hopefully. Yes, we've got them. We just don't have the date set, but we've got... Uh, is it me? We've got an ambassador from McAllen coming on. Nice. Uh, we've got the Compass Box ambassador coming on. So nice. we've got some interesting stuff. In the future, I'm. I think um, we have Dalm or. Uh, yep. So uh, back. the Dalm. Yeah, Ben will be back with the with the Dalm And then we still have another um, Jura lined up with Jura once uh, once What's their Jura? announcement hits. Which you know I haven't even paid attention to the New York Times to see if they. Man, are it's there. Valentine's week. I, yeah. I don't have time. Man, I've what else a lot is of people going on? Well, how, yeah, how was how was Mr. Saying? Saying? No. <laughs> Uh, so, was that this weekend or was that? Yeah, the tell us about. Tell our tell we, our subscribers about. We actually about. had. Uh, so I've been in restaurants for a long time, and <laughs> Valentine's Day night is when all everybody takes the wives out for dinner, right? Yeah, wives, girlfriends, all that good stuff. Yeah, yep. The day before or Valentine's Day lunch is usually Mistress Day, right? That's when all the dudes take out their their other significant right. other, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't really do it on Valentine's Day, uh, so so you occasionally see like. What is that dude doing with her? Oh, right, yeah, right. I got you. Right, no, not so much. Yeah, so tell day. me, are guys suave enough to take the ch both of them to the same restaurant? Uh, I have it's seen that on occasion. So yeah. one show up one that, day with one chick, show up the next day with, takes, a, with a wife. Or that <laughs> takes guts, man. <laughs> and and you got to tip heavy on that. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tip heavy on that. But maybe if you really like the restaurant. Will you have the I'm same thing you had last night, ma'am? Right? Oh. Oh. oh, excuse me, that wasn't I've, you. <laughs> I've, uh, I could write a book for sure on some of the stuff that I've, I've seen some crazy stuff. So uh, yeah. it's... Well, you know, you guys have, have heard stories. There's <laughs> there's interesting stuff out there. People do random stuff in restaurants that you wouldn't think they would do. I guess I don't see as much. My wife's not a Valentine's. She thinks Valentine's is a, a Hallmark holiday, so I get a, a pass on Valentine's Day. We, we don't go to dinner. <laughs> I like the Reese Cups. <laughs> that, that's cool. I'm down with that. And I'm not even supposed to eat and be eating those right now. But... But they're still good, right? Still I mean, good. come on. Let's be honest here. Just like Easter, when I saw, I was at the store and I saw a one-pound Reese Easter Bunny. That's wow. it, dude. We're like, how was that? I, I'm, all, I'm not sure like, how what? I feel about that? that. How was it? Yeah, I haven't eaten it yet. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> Mike says. You gotta, yeah. you gotta save up for that one, man. I don't yeah, know. Right. Like, I, I feel full just thinking about all right, that. I gotta get the chat portion signed up here so I can see who's on. There's a lot. On. Is there? So, yeah. Let's see, we got 19 on right yeah. now. Not too bad. Uh, i got to go back up to the top. I think I saw my dad on there, but we got Tom, Alex, Tom, hey, Tom. Tomar, uh, Tom, Tomar, 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 Tomar. Oh, Tom, I had chat with Tom today on Facebook. So oh, I missed that. If you dial in on modem, we're, <laughs> we're, we're, we're lagging bad, so. so oh, really? <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, no. That's I feel like it's, it's not my house. It's 
the internet in general. It may be the computer. Yeah. It's probably that new gas line. There it goes. It's back now. I, hope not. I, I think it might be the wireless. It's good. Yeah, I had a new gas line run through my yard. It looks it, good. It messed up. Sean it, now it, has gas. <laughs> I had all before, the time. Now I got enough to uh, cook with. Now I got enough to heat <laughs> <laughs> <eat> the house. <laughs> before it's it was just good. my bedroom. <laughs> it's all good. That's right. Hey, man, we're making progress. So, are we back up and running now? I believe we are. So. I think so. I'm not sure. Yep, everybody's saying it. it's. All right, boys. So, uh, yep. let's talk about this. Uh, oh yeah. This bottle right, right here. Wait a minute. I, I'm I'm still drinking my warm up scotch. I don't want to drink this when we're talking about you. that. Why are you taking so long? You haven't even touched that. I'm clean. Are you scared do, of it? Do you need water over there? To... Yeah. No, I'm just enjoying we're it. Back, we're back now. Your wireless is messing up. Mark, or, grab that water bottle down Are you wired? I'm wired now. Wow, we're lagging. We're really lagging. Like way back. It's like 20 minutes ago. Yeah. Well, I, I'm back here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at this old Pulte 21. Yeah. Yeah. Looks know, horrible. The boiler up 5G was what was screaming down. Yeah. All right. Whiskey Dick says it's much better now. The Russians okay. are, Eric says the Russians are uh, fine. Hacking us? It's the Russians. Oh, I thought he was going to say something about, let's just they don't want to do that. They're not the Russians. They're the Olympian, a- Olympic athletes from Russia. The, uh, <laughs> no, they're the, the ha- they're, they're the hackers from Russia. The, uh, <laughs> the one uh, girl curler was, uh, did you see her? on that. You know, the I Russian mean, girl? honestly, if I didn't know any better, I would say the only event they have at the Winter Olympics is curling. <laughs> that well, is or or oh, figure skating. Gosh, on, on man. NBC, everything is figure skating. It's Did like, you, uh, uh, I think curling would be more exciting. Did you see the Austrian snowboarder dude beer. that, like, broke his neck? No. <laughs> that was last night. Is that the one that, that was Japanese one? hit his ass on No, the but that looked corner? painful. Uh, no, it was a different impressed. dude. Oh, really? This was a race. Okay, I can't oh, get the right. comments okay. up. Man, we so we got a late start tonight, right? We all came over late. We yeah, typical we apologize for the and disorganization. And I think that's having like karmic uh, effect on us. I think we're okay now, guys. We are okay. So yes. I don't know where we need to start and where we need to finish, but forget the comments for now. Um, Let's drink some what are y'all drinking? Oh, I'll tell you what I'm drinking right I'm now. Drinking. I'm drinking some old P21. Oh my gosh! You poured that? No. You got a pour? No. Hey. So this is not OP21. Wow, these guys are killing Sean me. Sean poured that. Sean, so, that's Sean, a Sean poured it. Man, oh, shit, are no you wonder. drinking OP too? If I'm gonna yeah. throw down, that's you got what's with OP. Up. I'm still P, drinking. Uh, yeah, she's pretty hot. Um, what is this? OP twenty one. No, I'm not drinking. Oh, that you yet. drinking Adam? Yeah, the oh, you're Adam. Makes me want to take up curling. This one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that yeah, smells so like is, heaven. This is what I'm warming up with. I'll get to the OP when I get to it. I'm not gonna rush it. Oh. You know, Smell that? but in, in in comments about this, there were a ton of comments oh. about it. Yeah. Um, this one generated, it's two weeks in a row that we put up a really yeah. good review that, that it, you know, generated a lot of uh, Catching up to Port Ellen right it. now. Um, yeah, you know, that interesting, before we came on tonight, you guys, I said it's probably time for me to hit up Old Pulteney because if you read our comments, we have sold a lot of Old Pulteney 21 this <laughs> yeah. week. I mean, people have gone out and, like, bought two bottles, found three of these in, the, in my local store for 180 apiece, picked up two, and I'm going, dang, Gosh, that's so <laughs> Man. Um, to be fair, though, I've probably done the same. Uh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> the butter. It, but it's not they're at all. If not I can find it anywhere more. around here, I'm buying right. a bottle for sure. That's a good point. It's not oh, at our local God. store. So. And um, I wanted to bring up some comments from it, though, that I wanted to talk to. So one person had made a comment um, that they were looking on Old Pulteney's website, and they found out that the 21 was still in, listed on their website as part of their core range. Which it is. I went and checked today just to see. And they've got some other ones. They've got a 25. they got a 35. And, of course, you want to know where those are at, right? I have no idea. Right. Dalmore's but, um, got the Constellation Collection yeah, listed. <laughs> right. Know? But where's Good that? <laughs> um, interestingly enough, though, Old Pulteney does mm. sell their scotch on their website. And I went to their little storefront, and they don't. it's not listed there. So... Um, and somebody else had made a comment. That was that same person that said, maybe because it's listed in their core range that it's really not going away. They're going to bring it back. And I... I don't know what you guys hear, but it's all about how many bottles they have. How many all I've heard is, you know, what's out there on the shelves is what's out there on the shelves. So it it may be something that they bring back at a later date. You know what I mean? Like they just don't have enough to keep up with demand right now. So we'll just take it out of the out of the lineup for a little bit. And well, if you go to their website, I do have to admit there's a lot more in their range than I knew of. 
Okay, there's, you know, everybody knows of the 12, the 17, the 21, right? But they've got a retail, you know, traveler's Have retail you guys market. tried the 17? No, we haven't tried the no. 17, so we do need to get our hands on that. Is that local here? Or? I haven't seen it. I haven't seen no. it. No, it'll be 12 we can get here. But. No, even even the 12, 12 isn't, you, like, super common here. You can no. find it. It's hard to find. Not and easy. when you do find it, it's reasonably priced. Yeah, like yeah bucks oh, it's not bad at all. And it's very good scotch. Right. For the price. Man, that's tasty stuff. It really is. Makes yeah. your tongue tingle. Yeah, it's like butter it's and good. cream and just, it's, yeah. It's There's not, nothing wrong with that glass. No. <laughs> it's not, it's not <laughs> smoky. I don't I'm believe nothing I've wrong with that glass. All right, so you have a to chat. So Tom R. said, uh, uh, just from that. Mark tonight, I'm drinking the Ben Nevis 20 from the single cast. Yes, station. we talked about that. We were that. chatting so, about tonight, yeah. Um, someone, uh, who was it? That's uh, Whoever posted that on, on Scotch Attic on Facebook, uh, he's a subscriber here, too. I can't think of his name. Uh, he might be on. If I were to scroll, I might see it. But he posted a picture of um, Single Cast Nation, Ben Nevis 20, that he had picked up. And it's beautiful looking. And the juice looks great. It's dark in the bottle. And you're looking at it going, gosh, that looks really tasty. Well, Tom's got a bottle, too. So I was busting his chops on Facebook. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, how much scotch do you have, Tom? <laughs> right. And he said something like, too much. And I, I, I chastised him for that. I'm like, that's an unacceptable answer. <laughs> <You know? laughs> he's, it's my understanding Ooh. he's taking it back on the bourbon, and he's increased scotch. We are uh, the wise person. We, we barely have enough on this bar to get through the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> After Thursday that's a, night, that's, that's how sure. I feel about it. We're gonna have to start watching how your your work days go because you're starting to scare me. Your work days go that bad. You're gonna do. Start we had a bottle of something back or didn't we? Where did it go? Oh, I don't know. Bad day at work today. Bad day. <laughs> it happens, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy. I bring replacements. So let me see who all's on. I haven't. Uh, so I guess, guys, just an FYI, I think a few of you maybe still having problems. Uh, just let me know if it's still issues. I think everybody else is good. If you if you didn't log out, just close the window, come back onto our stream real quick. Hopefully, it's fixed the issue. Um, we had, um, I think it was a wireless issue from bandwidth or something. I thought it was processor, but it's usually not the issue. I think it had to be wireless. So. Um, so let me know if you're still having problems, but exit the YouTube and come back on, and I think you'll be okay. Yep. Yeah, so we got Whiskey Dick, we got Swami on, and, and Eric, and Tom, and obviously Telex. Okay, so, so let's, let's kind of start yeah. over a little bit. I know that we kind of monologued a little bit before. I was heads down trying to figure this out. I didn't even hear some of the stuff you said, but one of the things I definitely want to congratulate again, if we, I know you, I think you said it, was Bill the Whiskey Dick, 10,000 subscribers. I watched. So. Nice job, man. Good job. Congratulations. To you, my friend. Congratulations. It's impressive. Mm. Okay. It's a, it's a feat, that's for sure. 10K yeah, is a lot. That's I amazing. Mean, yeah. I mean, he's been, he has just been rolling. It's been awesome. Good for him, good man. For that's him. what, you know, that's what we're all trying to do. Absolutely. So, yep. good stuff, man. Good stuff. I, I noticed Swami had mentioned what the, about the Olympics, too, that uh, tonight, I was watching before I came over here, the Super G, the men's Super G, yeah, and that, those, they guys, were, those guys were yeah. struggling, man. That course was kicking their ass. Yeah, I'll, tell, <laughs> I'll tell you what, that weather has been brutal yeah. over there. They said <laughs> the snow is pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. surface like, is really yeah. hard. So it's concrete. Yeah. I mean, guys were just completely going straight out of the curve, just missing it. Just keep going straight. Because I was watching that, right? I'm not, I'm not a skier. I went that one time a few years ago, and it's funny because I feel like I'm going that fast, <laughs> but I know I'm going like. Wee! I know, you know, <laughs> but I, I swear when I'm doing, I'm like, oh my god, slow it down. Slow yeah, down. these guys are going like seventy. Miles I'm so now. old now. I feel like I'm gonna crash and break something. You know, yeah, break a head or something. I'll tell you what I would do. I would do luge or skeleton in a heart. That skeleton's oh, crazy. crazy. Skeleton's crazy. Skeleton's skeleton. Oh, totally do that. That's suicide. That's a broken neck, man. Nah, man. I, luge I a helmet. I like I do luge. luge. The luge is like an involuntary sledding accident waiting to happen. I love well, it. Let's just you know what I would do? I would Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'd, I'd curl. I could I'd do curl. Oh, curling I'd I would do. I think they curling should make them fun. drink beer yeah, when they're doing it. Yeah, you have a glass. We should like... We should like sponsor one and have a scotch for dummies. You, you got a rock in a circle. Everybody's doing oh, shots. Right. <laughs> <laughs> got some whiskey on the uh, side. Good job, guys. Okay. That that sport just looks like you should be drinking. Yeah, yelling like, at each uh, other. It's like Olympic bowling. Sweet yeah, faster. Whatever, hey, man. They got special <laughs> shoes they got. That's wear. exactly what it like. Is. You it's got Olympic a broom ball. that like you can lean on. That, everything about stuff. that sport. Did you see that spoon fights going around Facebook too with the cat? The, the, the Roomba. cat. No, mm -hmm. the Roomba. Oh the yeah, yeah. The that, that two women <laughs> doing the. That was brilliant. That was awesome. I don't even yeah. understand. We've been trying to figure out for a week. 
like the strategy behind curling and I, I still don't. And tonight was four person curling, and I was like, it seemed like two people did it just fine. Two I don't people know why. Were enough. That there one was guy like an USA, extra person. I don't the even dude know. Threw it and then ran up and did his own little burn. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, how the hell? Is well, I yeah. mean, that gives the other two people time to go drink some beer. Right. I mean, you exactly. got to take a leak. Yeah. Everybody yeah. needs a bathroom. No, there's you two got people this. brushing. Back. Yeah. Why, right. why do you need two people no brushing? One person was brushing on the two people competition. I'm just saying, I mean. Somebody needs to go get me a drink. Just like a bowling league, right? right? Is there a cocktail waitress involved? Someone go get some pretzels and cheese. Does she have Teflon-coated shoes? (laughs) I want a Teflon-coated shoe. I do want (laughs) Those guys will have like one. But then you got to get a a rubber tip on one of them so you can actually stop it. We're way off topic here with Scotch, but those shoes, those those guys have one thing on their shoe. They slide. The other one's like a normal shoe. It's like, how do they like, like, do they like, like going down the street normally like, hey, oh, they fall because they're used to sliding so so much. I keep, I keep waiting to see one of them fall. It's not going to happen. I don't and, know. Then, and then they get so close, like they just go, woo, right over well, the puck as it goes down. And You think that they wouldn't fall, but you also think that a dude in the half pipe isn't going to almost break his neck. Yeah. Dude, that was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, All right, let's get back to yeah, Scott. Let's bring it back, back in. I'm I love trying the to catch up with comments, and I, I see Hoag's on. And so, how you doing, Hoagie? Hoagie. I wanted to, uh, to point out, I've been trying to catch your videos on Facebook. I see you're, you're working hard at it. And uh, keep going, buddy. I'm watching them anyway. I don't know. I watched the log of yeah. a couple yeah. ago. Yeah, the log of a Man. God, he's got like four or five long ones lined up, and I'm just sitting there watching him. I'm not even listening to him. I'm just looking at the pot. You had me a log of one. You had me a log of <laughs> Right? I'm like freaking dog water, and my mouth's watering. I'm watching this video. Uh, it's horrible. Did you finish that glass yet? I'm working on it. And I'll tell you what. You man. want me to talk for a minute so you can drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So I'm going to okay. talk to you about this uh, this bottle of old Pulteney. So, Tom, you're the man. Yep. This is a great bottle. Uh, oh, you pass her back. Yeah, yeah. right? Not my, I'm running it, out. It's got, it's got <laughs> smoothness. Obviously, yeah. it's an older whiskey. It's got good depth of flavor. Like I, everything about this whiskey to me is, you know, you can take your time and enjoy it. You're not it's gonna so have to. Good. You're not gonna have to slam it down. The flavor lingers. You know, it's <laughs> it's a yeah, really it, 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 good it, glass. <laughs> admittedly, you, uh, it's, though it's not. Not yet. I'm letting it here. Uh, admittedly, for me, it's not my wheelhouse. <clears throat> So it's not smoky. It's not rich ruby fruits. It's none of those really heavy flavors. But I still love it because it's it's, it's just a really I, good representation of what a good classic. It's it's, it's got a lot of dried fruit here, character here the and there's uh, I don't know tonight I'm getting like tea and tobacco notes in it also. Yeah, yeah. I think we got we a little did, bit of that, that when we did the review. So, though, I mean, we got it, a little bit it's, of tobacco. It's got a it. little bit of complexity and it it, it's tobacco. it's really nice. I just it's a good glass. I'm disappointed that they're not going to have it in the lineup anymore, but it uh, sounds like a few of our subscribers actually went out and managed to find a couple bottles in the store, and good on you. It's uh, it's definitely worth it. Quick shout out to Welsh Toros Online, Bob H., uh, The Whiskey Couch, all the way from oh, uh, South Africa. South Africa. Uh, Drinking Cave, nice. man. Cheers to you. Good to see you, buddy. I've been watching your show. Good stuff. Um, who else do we have on tonight, guys? Malted's on, of course. Gation. Um... I, don't, I didn't pronounce it right, but we became friends on Facebook. <laughs> Santa's on, obviously. Uh, Eric Wade will be going on uh, live tomorrow night. He's going to be doing some wine stuff, I think I saw earlier. So. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Check yeah. Out. I that's to, cool. No. I need to contact him because I'm going to be out that way. In, you do. Well, that's why you're going to be in his neck of the woods. Yeah. Yep. You do. So. Flying, flying there the Saturday of last Saturday and, or last Sunday in February. So. And I'm supposed to hook up with Tom R. We're going to have a little play date up in Chicago and hopefully have some scotch stuff going on. So. Yeah, nice. I'm kind of jealous on that because I, I, I don't think it's going to suck. For the I, think you're gonna be for this guy. I think you're going to be drinking some decent scotch. Yeah. <laughs> We've got some good times. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, you know, this one didn't last nearly as long as I wanted to. I'm sure we'll make that one last a little bit longer. Yeah. We'll uh, probably go put it back on the shelf. and it's, um, we'll, we'll come back to it in a while. while. Yeah. We'll put it in the um. It's a real tiny bottle. How much do we have of that um, revival? It, do we even have any left? Mm-hmm. Yeah, up above you, right yeah. there. I wouldn't mind having a sip of that again. But I think it's low. <coughs> what? It is. I think it's low. Well, it needs to go in the infinity just, bottle. Wait, why do you keep wanting to put stuff in the infinity bottle? Because I want the infinity bottle. We may have to just kill this, boys. Take it nice and. I'm sure it's fine. It'll be just. Speaking of when when um I think. 
Rob just did the Rod 25? did a big yeah he had a, a, a dronic flight I thought it was a couple it was of eight or eighteen Honeyport and that's right Calardis. it was the townie and the yeah that's right those, really those good are too. those are good those are both good I need now, to watch the video and the see e what he says the comparisons though we I have, didn't watch we, we haven't done the eighteen Gawkin, Tony, but we did the fifteen twenty port yep and that was, was good I enjoyed it was that very one. tasty. I, I actually like stuff in a port cast. Ah, okay. It, it gives it a little bit different flavor profile, sure. and I enjoy it. I like it better than I like them sauter. <laughs> so we have a question. Um, Drinking Caveman wants to know if we could use one word to describe OB21, what would it be? Shiznit. I mean, let me think about it. Shiznit. Shiznit's Mike pretty said good. Mike shiznit. <laughs> shiznit. Fam, fantabulous. Um, um, for some reason, one the, word, word. The, the word buttery comes into my term. It just... It just it's that warm, it's um, creamy, it just has that warmth though, that nice buttered toast. I mean, it just, it's really... That's, I must get your attention. What? I, I must get your attention. I that? just took a sip of it. And? and? I want to curse right now because it's good. No! Oh! oh Mike changed his word from shit. Bourbon Mike! Good. Is <laughs> That's Scotch huge. Mike. That's huge, okay? <laughs> Just how you described it, though. It's like butter, and then you mentioned something about tobacco, tobacco and I'm like. Yeah. See, I'm almost getting like Are a wet leather. Okay. Right. <coughs> um, yeah, I can get I can get behind but that. But that's what you get when you get a nice worked in piece of leather. It's all buttery it soft smells and it's so like good. just great. Yeah, one, it, the nose one on it's amazing. One that's, word. That's I gotta taste it. What's your word? Let me think buttery. About that. Buttery. That's pretty good. I'm I'm trying to think of a word that encapsulates I know it's hard. There's I mean, a lot of things the, it does. I mean yeah. thing, I remember this from last year as well. While you guys think the the fruits are coming out, the the sweetness and yeah. the sherry is starting to really come out after you let it I got one. You gotta let it sit for a while, but it does get there. That's why it's I let got, it sit it's there. got some dried fruits and uh, yeah. some brown sugar notes, and I yeah. mean it's it's got a sweetness about it, but it's not cloyingly sweet. No. It's just sweet yeah. enough. It's like a, a really ripe piece of fruit kind of thing. You know what I mean? It I'm smells gonna go, just absolutely. I'm gonna fabulous. go. It does. Yes, it's really even better. Butter malt. Butter, butter malt. malt. Butter malt. Because I agree with you, the buttery that stuff, but it's, it's malty. Yeah, I'm making it up. <laughs> Hyphenated. Well, yeah, oh, well, if we can hyphenate stuff, I'm gonna one, <laughs> super <laughs> califragilisticex. Uh, Damn, that's right. one word. You may have one, that's already been said by you, Eric. You may have one <laughs> one hyphen. <laughs> we may have one hyphen. <laughs> yes, you're limited to one. One hyphen. But yeah, <laughs> I'm also well, gonna turn it into an. Uh, well, you, know, you should you should have a glass with us, man. It's it's uh, you know we're. To be honest, it's probably the last glass we're going to have of it for a little while. Cause well, we're I got it before we put it away. Well, we may have a little, little well. topper, but yeah. <laughs> Welsh is saying that he may actually open his that's stashed away tonight. So it's uh, it, it really is a good scotch. Seriously, I mean, this smells. Awesome. So Welsh, right? if, you, if you do choose to open it tonight, <laughs> it's a great decision. But you do to really appreciate it, pour it. Yeah, let, let it sit. Yeah, sit. he put knows. He knows side. that. Um, um, yeah. Somebody had made a comment that they picked up two bottles, and I said, you need to go bury one of them right yeah. now. Otherwise, you're going to drink it. You mean you opened one bottle. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Alan Ward spots the good stuff. Right. What did he say? He said, is that a bottle of Pikesville rye there with the LP21? <laughs> uh -huh. yes. yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Mike's double fisted it, back it, there. It'll go to my uh, little rant that I'll go on for just a moment, if you'll allow me. I have sure. been absolutely addicted borderline addicted to watching reviews of all just everyone everyone from scotch test dummies right mostly us I, I, <laughs> yeah. but i mean you're watching everybody okay. you're you're I'm watching I'm, I'm, literally i'm at work i'm at least listening to stuff with in headphones with my phone on the side turned over and listening to so, the whole thing. So the boss doesn't know. Yeah, so the boss doesn't know what I'm listening <laughs> to. I'm just jamming to something. I don't know. But um, I have just been completely addicted. In fact, I just watched uh, Scotch Test Dummies did their live with the Bourbon Night. That was bourbon that, Night. That was a while back, yeah. No, it was on the 7th or something, and I missed it. Oh, okay. Okay. Not the Bourbon Night. It's Bourbon It's night. Bourbon It's, night. it's yeah. Bourbon, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And um, in fact... Those guys are really good. Yeah, they are. And um, they, they always talk about that. And then I've watched a bunch of them with the Pikesville. And I was like, so I have to go find it. 
So I may so have to I have a glass today. of that. Let's so what, what's um, the uh, what's the deal with this rye whiskey here? I do um, have to have a glass of it. I'm sure it? everybody, since I've watched so many videos, I can say some stuff about talk, it. Talk about it. Yeah. But uh, in Maryland, in 1890, I believe, it started. And then closed down in, during Prohibition. Um, and then reopened right after Prohibition, in Mar still in Maryland. Um, little funny thing I found on their website is that it's called Pikesville. What is the name? Scotty's Land was the actual town it was in, but they thought that was too close to making th people think it's a scotch. So the, the neighboring town was Pikesville, so they called it Pikesville. Mm. Um, but Prohibition was over. They're pretty much the final distillery. People can correct me if I'm wrong of all the stuff that I read about it because I thought it was really cool. But um, And then... Some stuff happened, and then they end up closing. Heaven Hill bought them, and now it's made in Kentucky. So now it is a bourbon. This is guys bourbon review. Mike, we uh, we keep really good. we keep getting requests to do another um, one, man. Well, no, it's, it's not a bourbon. It's a rye whiskey. It's a rye, it's a rye whiskey. whiskey. It's rye, rye whiskey. So okay. And in fact, I thought it was interesting that it, um, <laughs> also <laughs> on their website they said something about come on they when they closed. They had enough storage to go up to 1982, and then they had to stop, and then that's when it came over to Kentucky. Hmm. I don't know if you guys can hear <clears throat> Sean's dog's collar as she comes down the stairs, but she absolutely loves Thursday nights, and she oh, knows it's Thursday night, and good. so she comes down here to check on us because usually after we get done filming, we break out the bar oh, snacks, and there she's uh, she's addicted to the bar pretzel. <laughs> right? So she's, she's down there laying on her bed. Is it time yet? Waiting. Is it time yet? No. She knows what's up. All right. So Mike and I get you know accused of feeding her too many. She's getting fat, which yeah, I don't know. And she has had a bath today and they brushed her and now she's skinny again. Yeah, so, so it's not even our fault. She's got room for more pretzels. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> I don't know if she has room for more I still haven't come up with my word. I Honestly, I finished the whole glass and I don't think I can come up with one word. It's, it, it, it really so, is. Uh, and that, that's that's why my, I, my word that I'm leaning to is either going to be like deep, rich, or complex because that I'm get there's there's a lot of different smells and flavors yeah, in there yeah, and it's a, yeah. it's a really deep glass. It's not I mean, it's got, it's got some sweet notes. It's got some earthy stuff going on. Uh, it really does have a lot of different character to it, um, which you would expect from a 21-year-old scotch. I mean, it, it's developed a lot of things while it's sat there for 21 years. Yeah, that's what I love about it, though. I mean, honestly, you can spend yeah. some time with this, and, and it's going to surprise you. Well, I don't remember getting tea and, and leather and tobacco notes on it. I didn't really want to either. I remember See, that. now I'm getting almost like a tapioca of vanilla. But it got you know, sweeter sweet. as I was yeah. sitting there. and Yeah, it's getting sweeter. Ooh, uh, it's a wonderful So there's glass. been a request for a dog cam for Molly. A, a dog, dog cam, cam from Molly. So we're going to have to put in the camera on our, our tripod I, there. I can tell you right now Molly's laying on her bed waiting, waiting. for bar snacks. If we got She's the pretzel very jar out and shook it a little bit, I'm sure she'd be over <laughs> I, Yeah. I but then we have to move the camera on vocal dog. Vocal. She'll come over here and start howling and yelling at us if we're not paying attention to her if the pretzels are out. So yeah. <laughs> let's just keep those things put away. Actually, a couple think. weeks ago we didn't have any pretzels and she was She's not bitching. happy. That's right. <laughs> oh, so Tom Mara said his word is more. More. Yeah. That's a that's good a word. really good word. All right, Tom. I can buy that. That's good. Mm. Refill? Then we ain't got enough of that now. <laughs> you did have a pretty that's small pour. If you want a little you know, bit more, let's, let's talk about So the last two weeks, we've had a couple of good reviews. But <laughs> bottles that have generated a lot of... <coughs> I've smelt it already. That rye? Yeah. Yeah, I know. It smells really good. It does smell And I'm not a rye guy. I'm not, I'm not, not a at all. Guy. But so uh, of the last two weeks, we've had some really interesting reviews that we put up. What's in the pike? What, what do we got coming down the road? Here? Um, you know, actually, we're we're getting low again. We need to do some more shoots. So yeah, but we've got it. the Glen Glen Cadam to do. Glen Cadam is on deck. It's okay. on deck. Um, okay. And that's really about it. Cinnamon. But what do we have that we yeah. haven't reviewed? Uh, well, oh. that's that's a lot of other things we've got down here. We've got uh, Wolf Room. We've oh, got no. the um, oh no, oh that's right, Colbert and Twenty. Well, yeah, you know what, back here. Dallas Dew. You know what, Walmart Eighteen. Pale Ale. I would say that maybe before uh, we need to, to drink the samples that have been provided oh, yeah. us oh, by some of our friends. 
Uh, can can like some of them be done live? I would think so. <laughs> let, let, what's the two uh, from Aqua? What's that Aqua Vitae's? Scotch Ball Whiskey Sa- Cider Daluane oh, Champagne of the North. It's 60 a, points. It's a 26, though, isn't it? Hey, Rob. Welcome. Wow, that'll kill you. 60? Champagne of the North. I thought this was a... What's... What is that? Same thing. Yeah. Does it have the year on it? Um, we drank the 26. Oh, did we? I had I'd say we break them open and dry them. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I wanna, I'm going to try these on a live because this is not something that we can really review that someone's going to get. These were special bottlings for an event yep. type of thing that, you know, if if you're lucky enough to, to have someone like I this think, to try it, you might as well try it. But I don't think it's something that we can really do a review on for someone's benefit. Right. So I, I think unless it's something specific that we're asking for, for samples, because we do get samples quite often. Uh, I think what we're going to start doing, just because it is hard for us to stay on top of things and just keep things going, I think what we're going to start doing, if you guys do send us samples, is we may just start doing those samples live during our live shows just to get through them. Because we feel awful because we want, we feel like we need to do justice to the samples, but right. we just don't have have time. We, right. you know, other things come up or whatnot. So. Unless it's a fairly common bottle, and then we could put it into our normal. Well, I mean, cycle. and 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 to be honest and fair with you guys, is the reason we're doing this is obviously a passion to do it, but we're also trying to do something that you guys can go buy. I mean, there's going to be some things like the OP21. Sure. You can still buy it; it's harder. But we'd like to do things that are more common, something you're going to walk into a, a normal liquor store and buy. And that we want to make sure we try to get through almost of those first. I mean, all the. All the Lagavulin's, all the Lafroigs, committee all these, releases, all and special those things. That's you know, yeah, stay on top of yeah. those too. But and there's so much out there that we, you know, especially we're huge fans of independent bottles, but it's just they're hard to get. Actually, we right. we bought one last week, and right. we're not going to review it. It's just for us because. Nobody can get it. Not only is it not an independent bottler, but it's also a special it's release. A cast, just it's a one vine, cast. One cast, vine and table thing. So, honestly, for for guys that are avail- that have access to vine and table, <coughs> sure, love to share that it's information. Pretty good. With, we what do you have need to do is go into your buddy that's just as much of a lush as you are, and then you can talk each other into buying a bottle. <laughs> That's awesome. Who's the lush here? <laughs> I like that idea. Both of us. Oh, I, I didn't know if it was going this Next end. time we go to Miami. <laughs> yeah. You uh, guys don't buy as much. Exactly. You yeah, said Mark and I. We, you guys don't have the, 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 the sack to buy the bottle. You want to get something a little on the cheaper side. We'll, we'll get it. That's okay. We were looking in the glass case. Like, that was the first place <laughs> we stopped. We, we, we went straight for the locked case, which, if you guys well, are like, familiar, that's, you know, that's right, what the right. $9. I mean, we we could get that. How, how pissed would they be if we bought that? Right. <laughs> I mean, we, I mean, I would, cut up not, Mark's credit card. <laughs> well, I would not have sent us up there, unsupervised. Right. For I the mean, record, I didn't know they were going. They just like, but we went. It worked out. It did. It, and we did fine. Oh, um, I think we got some good stuff. We did. Uh, I like this. It's yeah. good. It's good. It is good. good so day. I actually, will thank... Uh, what's the price on that one? <clears throat> 50 That's not bad. Not bad. We should do a rye review. One thing I noticed, well, though, is it's, it's, it's a six-year. It. It's a six-year, which yeah. I don't... I mean, honestly, not knowing much about American whiskeys, when bourbons and rye. Six-year, uh, 110 What's What's the average age of a, of a decent bourbon? I mean, because honestly, you could ask me that of scotch, and I would say 12. I mean, that's that's pretty much your, you know, you go to a, any liquor yeah, store bar, and you, get a, you can get a scotch 12. That's pretty, you know, guaranteed. But I don't think bourbon's you, that. It's got to be, what, four years it's got to be? No. Uh, no, well, bourbon's two, two isn't bourbon's it? Bourbon's two. Yeah. It's required but, to be two. It's required but to be it, two. But it ages yeah. faster yeah. because of the heat. In Kentucky versus Scotland. It's almost twi- two to three times faster in, in Kentucky than it just, is in Scotland. Just like Indian whiskeys age a lot faster yeah. than bourbons. Right. Because it's just, it's just warmer there. So it, it, it leads to quicker chemical yeah. reactions. And uh, so it just does, right. it takes less time in the barrel to taste aged. So, but this is actually, it, it's really good. And it's I'm not nice usually a, a It does have a nice nose. I haven't tasted it yet, but I did it's, smell it. It's it quite like tasty. So I got to think. Like Scotch test dummies and it's bourbon night and for oh they're the ones turning turn pretty, pretty pretty much talking me into Woo. it. Eh. So. That's a rye. Well, that's a one ten. It is a rye. I mean, it's, it's a hot. Yeah, it's, it's a hot rye. But, it, but it's it's not, it doesn't. Uh, not, which I enjoy whistle pig too though. And that's right. See, I, a lot of ryes to me have have more of a grassy 
note about them, and there's just something about it that's not my favorite. But I've had a few that are are really good, and this style seems like more up my uh, alley. I've watched a few reviews where they talk about like rye bread, the taste of rye bread and stuff like that. And See, I love rye I'm, bread. I want that. I want to find yeah. if anybody can suggest. Yeah. Tell me, I want to find that bottle that really stands out of rye bread. Yeah, I don't because know yeah, that's what I remember. A kid eating. Oh, I love fresh rye, rye bread from the bakery. Rye bread's awesome, and that's what that's some of the reviews I watched. They're like, I owned a bakery for I a pick while, up this. and I had to make rye bread in the morning. That was my <laughs> breakfast. I loved. We'd make marble dry. So Alan early. said, in his opinion, that that generally the best age for bourbons falls in the eight to twelve year. Hmm. So I mean, all right. I just don't see that many bourbons in, uh, that you no, know. Well, there's a lot of sixes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can get twelve years without so struggling too hard at it. You know, we were talking about what's coming up as far as what we have to review and stuff. But what's we also have other videos that's coming up too. I mean, we've got some other side type videos. I know you and I have a day like to finish it, yeah. shoot the finish of one we video. Just make them half I'm actually excited got like about that. One. Three or four in the hopper right now. We've got there, the problem with those videos. They take a lot longer to edit and get right. Finalized. They're not typical reviews. They're something that are very specific, topic oriented. Right. I feel like we need an intern. Yeah, 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 we do need an intern, kind of like Van Wilder. And, right? and we're still open to ideas too. So if you, if you guys are out there watching, you know, and you, you have some ideas, send us some thoughts, some skits, or some things you want us to review, or something you might know, might be think you know would be funny and entertaining. Let us know. And we'll we, we've got a couple of funny entertaining ones also. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I didn't even think about those. I mean, I've got the whole um, uh, script and and research work done for a video on online purchasing and. and I actually have some bottles from that purchase that yeah. we still need to review. So oh, well. the Blair Athol, so couple Ben Ricks. Yeah, I was actually at your house oh, the other ben night, Rick. and I had a really good time with the uh, <laughs> Gordon McPhail. This the, guy came over. Wait, what the, the hell? What, Tuesday night, was it? Monday or Tuesday night. He wanted to come over and check out uh, uh, his 4K, 4K setup. setup with with gaming on the Xbox. I want to come over and check and out the 4K. And, of course, yeah, you know, he right? walks in and, and makes a beeline for the scotch. And, you know, hey, man, whatever. Make, help, you know, help yourself. <laughs> so we, we actually t we tapped the, the tomato in 18 first. Yeah, we first. started that with was good. 18. What? Yeah, and then so I went back and I, I saw his bottle. It was still sitting there. He, I don't think he's touched it since I was, no. I've been there. And it was the burnt toast. It was the uh, Gordon and McPhail Mortlock Mort Fifteen. Man, I tell you, I'm in love with that. Bottle. And he couldn't get over it. So I actually walked back towards my bar and I grabbed the bottle and I walked over and I put it next to him on his chair, like I want to finish it. And he didn't. I, I yeah, because I, I would we should have bought that Mortlock day, when we were up there. Too. I told him I love that there's Mortlock. a Gordon McPhail Mortlock so Twenty Five at Vine and it's, Table. It, I had that burnt we toast were close thing, too. and that was what that that saying is from i mean it, it literally tastes like burnt toast to me i just love it i don't know which why. is a, a taste that you relate to oh, yeah, way yeah. more than we do sure, i mean honestly sure. i'd never even considered that i mean the, the rye flavor. bread this is the burnt toast for yeah, me it's, it's, it's up, taste so. of childhood in a glass yeah, yeah, exactly. and that's what you get out of yeah. it it is it's pretty cool it's like christmas morning <laughs> yeah i'm i'm down with it but i did want that 25 I, I'm, well it's not too late what are you doing tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> Shh. i hey i read an article the other day that Here's here's liquor in the news for you. I know what it, I know what you're going to say. Indiana may oh. actually vote that we can buy liquor on Sunday. They have been saying that for years. No, no, no. It's it's already through the committee. <clears throat> no, really. Not, yeah. not only that, but they wrote in the law that it would go into effect before July first, which is when you, new so laws like normally go in a week water. or two. You can go to right. the liquor store That's and buy huge. booze. Yeah, so liquor store, and liquor store because they have to work. Yeah. Which is stupid. Well, if you're I don't, a liquor store, I don't give a shit if yeah. they're open. I can buy it on Sunday when I go to the grocery, grocery store. Hell, the best yeah. thing about going to Illinois is you can drive to the liquor store drive-throughs. They gave me a six-pack or whatever. Yeah. That's the best. And Ohio, Ohio's, Ohio's got yeah. yeah. Ohio's got like almost like a. Um, car wash style where mm -hmm. you pull your car completely in and there's like yep. booze on each side of your car and then you just tell them what you want and load that stuff right up yep you ain't even got to get out you don't turn nope. the car off or nope. nothing you got the jams going yeah. i want the case of that oe and uh <laughs> you sell single cigarettes <laughs> <laughs> pack those rolling two, papers two <laughs> some of sweets some of those green Switch bags heck yeah sweets. man are you kidding me but uh, we oh, do got a lot of good, interesting stuff coming what? up, and some good scotch to be drinking. So I don't, they can't see that, can they? Well, I was gonna say they might. I got scotch in the news, but that's a lot. So more yeah, I do have a, I do have a scotch in the news too. What did you have? 
Well, hold on. If you're going to do Scotch in the News, I've got to do my at least my little cool thing here of going Scotch in the News. Scotch in the News. Scotch in the News. Do you have did a, did a did musical did intro? Did I, did I, did I should go that. That's what I was thinking. So mine was about some <laughs> rare whiskeys that were sold at auction last year. Over $25 million of rare whiskey was sold at auction last year. $25 million? $25 that million. Dollars dollars. Or is that pounds? That's pounds. That's right. 25 million pounds. The most expensive bottle to sell during the year was a night was a 62-year-old Dalmore. One of only 12 bottles released, 91,650 pounds. I wonder if the Kingsman movie uh-huh. had anything to do with the price on that. Because didn't they drink like a Dalmore 60-something in that movie? It could have been. So 62-year-old, 91,000 pounds. So wow. that's about a... Buck fifty, hundred fifty thousand. Bring it on! Guys. Yeah, man, you guys are just tearing through it. Yeah, um, was... My my article that I looked up I need a basically was talking about yeah, um, Scotch Ooh, exports. Scotch exports broke a new record last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, really? Well, like over it was like four point six billion. I've got that. Hold on, let me back up. You got the article here too. Wrong glass, sir. Uh, Scotch whiskey <laughs> exports hit record high, four point three six billion dollars. Four point three six billion pounds. That's pounds. Pounds, you're right. Do you want to? Do you want to have it broken down by countries? Oh, do you have it like I that? Do. Yeah, give it at least give Wait, us the top can you, five. Uh, can you bring how it much, down by basements? How much is that? <laughs> how much is that in Canadian? How much is that? A million. Canadian? That's, <laughs> a trillion. I don't know. Swami <laughs> already ch- chucked off. Um, maybe Rob's on. He can tell us what that is in Canadian. <laughs> So, by value, the U.S. is first with 922 million pounds. Next is France at 433 million pounds. So, huh. obviously the French drink a lot of scotch. But wait, by volume, France with 178 million bottles. Okay, so that tells me that, Scott, that France... France drinks a lot of <laughs> cheap scotch. Cheap scotch. <laughs> exactly. So, so they have. I'm good with they, that. They have less than half the pro, the value, but fifty uh, percent more volume. Right. In the US. So, what are they drinking in France? <laughs> Somebody tell us what's the number one scotch in France. Uh, that's really interesting. Someone Google that. So I don't know. Got that. Bob thinks my uh, my pull on the eighteen was a good pull. On can uh, keep going with that. While we got some Canadians on here, can somebody tell me how what the deal with the curling is? I don't understand the scoring. I got I it all figured out. I thought, I thought it was like I thought you, know, you were watching this. I like am. I love it. And you figured it out. <laughs> like yelling at each other. Like brooms. I don't I know, know what the like, hell's going on. <laughs> For such a lame sport, it's they like, really get angry and violent. Oh, I mean, I want to see them get. There's a couple swing. of them. The mixed doubles was hilarious because the women were into it. They're yelling. The dudes are like, "Yes, ma'am." Exactly, they're, they're, they're sweeping, sweeping away. whatever you need. Uh, I got you covered. Oh, look at you! This. You know it's, who's it's not, an animated sport? Do we have sport. Do we have Lee and Mark on? How are Lee, they doing? Lee is on. Yeah, I, I saw her earlier. Cheers, Lee. Lee, how did uh, how did um, Mardi Gras treat you all down there? Did you guys have a good Mardi Gras? Happy oh, Mardi Gras! Well, happy for a while. Lent, I guess, huh? Beads. Yeah, it, it is now. It, it's over. I, I, gave, up, I gave up scotch for one. Half my family went and. Did the Ash Wednesday, so. How could, Rob says he hates curling. How could you hate curling? That's I awesome. love curling. Man, curling's hilarious. Is fun. Right, wait, wait. I was going to say, he hates curling. Yeah, he curling. Now, like, I, like I said, with him, there, there, there is not one there. sport in the Winter it's Olympics like that I don't like. It's lawn darts on ice. <laughs> Pretty it's, much. Man, that is a, a sport you can get just sloshed, tanked. Yeah. You can go through yeah. a whole bottle of this and have a good time. You're not going to break your neck or they anything. They need to bring back jerks. No, Damn old school right. metal tip ah, jerks. Ah, see? It's, it's darts on gone. ice, see? Oh, Whiskey Donald's got the call. Darts on ice. And well, we All right, so darts every Thursday night. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try something. You guys let me know if it's worse again. So I'm going to open this there's, program up. There's a... What are you opening up? This is a music program. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. It's on now. We all right? We'll see what happens. I'm looking for some bananas. It, in this. Welsh said Scotland sells a lot of dodgy blends. I see a lot of weird stuff in Spain. Malted man cake for ten bucks. Wow. Thanks, buddy. I love right that, man. Right yeah, you know what? You are close. You've got to get over here. I mean, we've got to do something. Together. You know what? It's funny you said. I was thinking about him tonight because uh, he is. You made a Ohio. comment about the old P12 and. Um, I, I made I replied to it and the first I was gonna add to it. When are we gonna get together? You're like two hours away. I mean he's in Cincinnati, right? Oh Cincinnati? Oh, really? Yeah. I mean <clears throat> he's, 
I mean, he's probably an Ohio State fan, but we can overlook that. If you want to drink a good glass for, of scotch. For an hour or two. <laughs> I mean, no, not hey, during a basketball tournament. <laughs> yeah, okay, thank you for the, the super chat, buddy. Yes, Eric, that curling is the only Olympic sport in the winter that I have a chance at, too. You know, the interesting thing about that, so, you know, being the scientist, I actually watched a YouTube video on the physics of curling. Oh, cool. Jesus. How they set the Seriously? ice. Did you how, really? Yeah, because I mean, dude, I watched a whole think? interview with the dudes that do the ice for all of those it's venues. Amazing. The temperature, because the uh, like the speed skaters, the ice is a lot colder than it is for the figure skaters because yep. they want the ice to be have different wet. properties. Yeah, it's gotta be softer. Yeah. Huh. And with curling, they 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 stipple it, so they they will take they'll take the ice and then they'll take a, a like a sprayer and like spray Dunno. water on it to create. <laughs> create bumps on it and then they'll scrape most of the bump off so it <coughs> slides differently and when they when they you guys spin are losing the, Rob when they spin the stone it goes the opposite it, it curls the opposite direction of what you think it should it like moves in the direction of that and so there's like scientists that have studied this and they can't agree on why it does that it it's just so drags awesome. me up that they're so angry about <laughs> it so it's Rob awesome. hasn't posted this but I'll post it so you don't have to type it Rob you said that's cool to him Cool is like putting his <clears throat> foot upside your head, tying you into a pretzel. All right, physics high. though. But Rob, physics. <laughs> Rob, you'd go down a lose shoot, right? Because I would totally do that. Uh, <laughs> a straight one? No. Yeah, so, oh, man, you gotta you hit the curves, one. man. You gotta lean. It's all about the shoulder. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. So, by the way, Lee, you don't have to go to New Orleans. To New Orleans. I mean to. To enjoy Mardi Gras. So what did you guys do? I mean, they celebrate it all over the place. I, I don't want to hear about Yeah, I know. Didn't it actually, the big parade actually start in Mobile? That's what I heard. It yeah. actually started in Mobile, Alabama. I know Galveston, they've got a big Mardi Gras thing. So yeah. Mobile? Mobile, Alabama. Really, the I think New Orleans is, Lee, is just like a, another day, right? Is Tom the turkey still alive? If you can't yeah. know, I, that video, man. I can tell you right now, that turkey would not have made it. Uh, I'd have wring his neck. That yeah. turkey is crazy. <laughs> oh, God. He looks too tasty to let live. Yep. <laughs> so, guys, I want to try something for fun. We're going to do a little thing called Name yep, That Tune. We're turning it over name to Name That Tune. Off come so the wheels right now. Just, just for fun, we're going to do some fun stuff. Just a little bit here and there. We're going to keep talking, but we're, well, I'm going to play Jeff the song. Jeff the stage. And you got, you got to tell me in the comments what's, what the title of the song is, okay? All right, so uh, Are we not allowed to play? You'll, you'll be playing. You, you can't play. Okay. i got to get more volume than this. I think it turned down. Yeah, I did. Okay, guys. For so, back, in the background, background, you have... Drooby Dooby Doo playing the keyboards. That's all you get. So and then we drink. Now we got to drink. Man, if you can't name that. I got that. Somebody's got Wheel that. House. Come on. Wheelhouse. Mm. That 18 is delish. Mm. That's good stuff. But Man, as you pass her back. Oh, you want some too? Yeah, of course I do. <sighs> Just because I'm behind you. Yeah, I feel like you're favorites. behind tonight, man. I'm so, solo. I'm a single dad. Did you try tonight. some of this? No, I'll get to that after the camera's off. Ever win. Hold the line. First Hold one. the line, says nice. How are you win. not going to get nice. that one? <laughs> you take requests? <laughs> yeah, I, yes, maybe. Yes, he does. Maybe. Depends on what As a matter of fact, he I does. Know what Tony should be. Bon Jovi. No, no, no. It was not Bon Jovi. You're, you're going to have to super chat Toto. requests, though. I was, yeah. yeah. Super, <laughs> super Chats gets requested. The only one that's got a request right now. Is oh, <laughs> if you can play it, whatever. <laughs> I, I haven't come up against anything you can't play yet. Uh, let's see what I can do here. I did. I got one for you. Um, this is a... Hmm, let me see. The mash intro. The what? Ooh, what the he's got it all. Suicide is Painless? <laughs> that's the name of that song. Is it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. He said you got to name the song. All right, let me find something real quick here. What? He's not pl prepared. No. Well, look I'm at all these. In look at all these. Like my so a little bit in. about this bottle. I remember when we got to this. I was so in love with that fifteen. What is this? The Solera cast. The fifteen Solera. And then we got one of these bottles, and I was all anxious to try it. In my first taste, I almost started to cry because I didn't like the Solera anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We haven't had a bottle since. I had a new love. <laughs> I've but got we, one at my you know house. It's probably got a glass left in it. Right, I, I want to go back and yep. try it. I've got it at work. That? I just haven't yeah, tried it. It's, a, long it's still time. a good dram. All right, next up. Here you go. Here you go. Uh oh. Really? 
Oh, it's the easy one. Kevin said Despacito. Yeah, no. It's got to be something musical, actually. It takes talent. Despacito? What? It's all drum machine and sampling. Yeah, well, you got that. You'll have that. Let's see if we can get that one. That's a good one. I had it. Oh, my but gosh. I know you guys don't count because you guys know all these songs. So. Damn right. All Everybody knows that song. Shit. Oh I got, actually, I have one just love. for Telex. Oh, you don't know Led Zeppelin. Okay, you got so problems. This is for Telex? This is Telex. Let's see if anybody else gets that one. Is that on get your Broken Mirrors hand. album? Like it's Huh? I said, is that on Broken Shit. Mirrors? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say the name of the song. I was just naming the album, I think. I might be wrong. Some of us aren't 50. Oh. 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 All right, so they go on and throw him something. Okay. Just wow. Throw him a millennial song. I'll give him something maybe from his modeling age. <laughs> oh. Something about a Killers or something. <laughs> Britney Spears. Ah, oh, Hoagie's going to bed. What Going the what? Bed. It's like four in the morning your time. Party oh, rock! Yeah. That's for Molten Man Cave. Oh. <laughs> Party rock. I'm glad See you stopped you. there because I didn't want to bust into the running man right here. Subdivisions. Very good, Telex. I I'm totally am waiting for that. <laughs> signals, yes. Uh, you can't signals, help but do wrong. that when you're Dang it. Telex to got me. All right. Well, that's kind of funky sounding. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a very good sound for that one. That's dun, like, dun, 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 dun. We're doing a little bass line for you there. Um, <laughs> it's a good thing we don't have a... 90, yeah, 90, 90, 90, 90 red balloons. <laughs> <laughs> that's luffed balloons, Luft it, as Hoagie would say. Actually, that's a really good song. Drew's going crazy with that. I think Drew needs too much. Too much to stay. We the need band Tony more. Yeah. Tony, Tony, yeah. No, any Pearl Jam. There, Rob wants some Pearl, Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam, no. We can all sing There's some no Pearl Jam. There's no keyboards in Pearl Jam. Jam. Just bad vocals. <laughs> That's about all. All vowels. All vowels. He said all vowels. Sing a song. Oh man, I love Pearl Jam. Did all right. All right, I got. I got Pearl Jam. I'm gonna do one more for fun. One good one. I love this song. No, he's smashing pumpkins. <laughs> Ozzy has one. Come no on, more tears. You, you don't, don't get that. Somebody's got to know that one. And that's Shoot. all. That's all she wrote for name that tune. How about some hot for teacher? <laughs> Telex says that he's ready to start a band with you, dude. All I, right, I let's do it. Telex is what used to be in a band. Heck there yeah. You go. Just bad vocals. See, that's why I said. Oh, Eric got Boston. Boston. But what's the name of the song? What's the name of the song? Uh, da -da 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 Man, this 18 that was an is an awesome delicious. album, by the way. I love yeah. this 18. So what's took him uh, took him a minute to get there. It's about 100 bucks, I think. Maybe it's just yeah, 95 bucks. 43 percent ABV. It was uh, one of our early. That's actually my first. Review that I that I kind of that you did yeah yep. and it's it's early it's been your baby yeah, it's, been. it's still a good sketch it is well you get all sorts of requests Rachmaninoff Boston Foreplay Wonder very good Telex you get them all I can do some other stuff but hey the dog's saying it's about time to get yeah, on. yeah the dog you guys hear my I need some food we got uh, seven minutes boys come here. Not yet. what's up with you you want to be on camera. Oh, we gotta come over here. Molly. Who, who's gonna pick her up? Someone <laughs> had said in, in the comments up that I forgot to bring up about the old Pulteney. Somebody had made a comment that uh, they had heard that old Pulteney tried to move their dunnage, their storage of their casks. Yeah, I saw that um, too. And they weren't getting the flavor profile they wanted, so they moved it back. So there was something something about yeah. the actual physical location. It speaks to <coughs> the physical location of a dunch house. Does it influence Oh, yeah, the absolutely it does. And, and it, it very well must, right? What are you doing? Well, it's the way weather hits it, I am... I presume. And well, and, and I think that they argue that the closer <coughs> it is to the coastline, the more salty it could be. Mm -hmm. um, well, and I think a lot of it's also about the airflow through the Dunnage House and, mm -hmm. and how it interacts with its environment. I know? think that's what's the coolest thing about Scotch in general is just knowing mm -hmm. all the, the climates, the history, everything about the Scot Scotch in Scotland is just amazing. Just thinking about just how the weather, it's, the rain, or the salt, and the water. Well, and just whiskey in general. 
I mean, yeah, I was managing say. managing the barrels in a Dunning's house is yeah. a, that's a Whether big it's deal. It's an art. Whether it be it, Kentucky it's, or it's a skill, and I mean, skilled you, art. It, Colorado it's not like or, you've got like 20 and you're like, where am I going to put this one? I mean, you've well, got like a million barrels. You yeah. know, and rotating them through and making sure that everything is getting the proper time. And that well, everything it, is down in Kentucky, it's even a, more probably. of a rotational issue than it is in Scotland because yeah. the, the temperatures that they have to deal with, they've got those barrels that are up at the top of a warehouse have to come down. They yeah, gonna... they do. It, actually, when I was at Maker's Market, that was mm-hmm. one of the big things they talked yeah. about. So they normally age for roughly three years, I think it is. But the top barrels <clears throat> need to be moved down. No, I think it's six years because they... The top barrels need to be moved down and switched with the bottom barrels at three years. Otherwise, they'll just they'll cook them. Cook right, them. they cook them. Right, yeah. they're, they're so not they, good they, anymore. they have to move those, or it won't be good anymore. Another comment that I wanted to bring up, we're running late. I wanted to bring this up earlier, but I wanted to ask you guys your opinions. And I need to get the comments up so you guys can answer me. But someone had made a comment. I had I had made a comment on our review, probably the old Pulteney. Um, about non-chill filtration and 46%, you know, I mean, it seems to me that distilleries make a big deal of what putting non-chill oh, yes. filtered, right? Yes. If yes. it's non-chill filtered, we're going to put non-chill filtered. Well, what's the point of putting non-chill filtered in on 46 or, or higher alcohol, right? Because it really doesn't make a difference. The only reason, supposedly, that you chill filter is a cosmetic reason, that it doesn't cloud, the, the whiskey doesn't cloud, right, when you add water or ice. 46% or higher, it's not going to cloud anyway because the alcohol content kills the acids and the proteins in there to where it's not going to cloud. So, I, so I what's the point off. of chill fil- He answered this. I thought it was you. Then mm-hmm. I saw Mark. I was like, what? <laughs> Dude was all over it. Right. So I really, I'm going to start. I, I even said in the comments, I'm like, it's time to freaking push Andrew. To, yeah. to He's like, he, I, he killed you in the comments. I'm like, dang. You know I missed that. that. I missed that. Well, Do you want, let me, let my, the my answer to that is... is Rob from Whiskey in the Six was a lead singer in a band. Oh, Jesus. What? For a few years. I'll bet he was. He was David Lee Roth. I can see him kicking on stage, okay. man. Anyway, um, my, so, my theory is that they do it at 46%. <clears throat> if it's 46 or higher, they and, and they say non-chill filter, it has to affect flavor. It yeah, does. I think you're right. It has to affect flavor. It does. Flavor. We, I mean, we know when you chill filter a, 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 a whiskey, it... it a lot of that mouthfeel goes away. You remove proteins. You remove a lot of the. Yeah. You know, well, you remove proteins that, that create that creamy mouthfeel, that smooth taste. And so, if you want to brighten a higher proof whiskey, chill filter it. You'll pull out that that mouthfeel and you'll brighten it up. It'll be crisper and cleaner and whatever you right. want. Right. So, so you're not chill filtering it for uh, a, a for vi- right. visibly. For you, you want to change Cosmetic. the flavor of what's there or the the, the mouthfeel yeah. of what's there. Right. Yeah. Which if then then why is chill? Why do people knock chill filtration? Why? Oh, well, it's chill filter. Well, because it's because you're you taking out part raw, of that whiskey, that raw food idea. It's, raw, yep. it's fresh but, out of the cask. You know, they add a little but water. What you're but, buying is what the the master wants you to, to what he wanted to put in his bottle. But that might I mean, not be your your bag. Yeah, well, it's people like it's the, like buying a 40 percent whiskey versus a cask strength whiskey. Yeah, you and know? if it's forty percent, it's it's got to be. Chill filter. Uh, oh, yeah. Rob, gonna, Rob agrees with you, by the way. Yeah. About what? Oh, the fill. Yeah. I, yeah. It was something that caught my attention and I wanted to talk about. It. I wanted to get everybody's input. I wanted to bring it up as a topic. And, and I know that other people, there's been a few in the last year um, articles about adding water that have tried to break it down from a chemical standpoint. But no one has talk, talked about chill filtration true. from a chemical you standpoint. You know, I could put that into mine. Isn't that, that what you talk? I wish about? you would. Should. Yeah, I, I, <coughs> that's, that's a, isn't I that what a great you topic. Talk to I mean, there's really. a lot of education that we can be doing. I feel like we should be building models, <laughs> right? <laughs> Proteins and whatnot. Don't get him started. He carries those things in I his know. trunk, man. I know I'm not he does. Kidding, not little ones, but I mean like big, huge protein I, models. Just I got a great big protein that I teach with. <laughs> I feel like that would be an awesome show. Don't isn't, be on that, isn't that what you talked about when you talked about one of your topics that you're going to be covering? It was uh, chillstone. Yeah. yeah. The, Where what, what, what stone water? Proof? When you do the water, it also adds, takes away, brings down the proof. But when you put in a chillstone, it doesn't bring down the proof, but it does it, it change. Co- it cools the alcohol. Changes the, bring down the alcohol burn. composition of the alcohol. Yeah. Right. So Eric Wade also says chill filtering removes gluten in small farm animals. Which small farm animals? Spoon it out there. 
I, I generally, not I bad. generally <laughs> buy farm animal, farm animal free, free whiskey. whiskey. That's just what I do. Boy, it's two minutes and counting. Yeah, but you well, had dolphin, right? Dolphin. Right. So I love dolphin. Dolphin. Thing. Dolphin's delicious. Dolphin Dorado is delicious. or dolphin. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for uh, sticking with us. I tonight. prefer shark fin. <laughs> Sorry for the technical issues in the beginning. We'll have to yeah. go hard wire them going forward, but uh, it looks like we got through it. Okay. Yeah, so. we we survived. We have some guests coming up. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We'll we'll definitely announce them. We'll we'll do some more things coming up, and then we got some more ambassadors coming back on. Um, what else? Yeah, and when we do, when we announce them, we'll be asking questions like we did last time. I do still have to get with Ben to get the answers that were unanswered from the Jura. Um, I wanted to give him a break. He's still touring the country with uh, Derek, okay. so I want to let them get through that. Go watch the Olympics. Yeah, go watch the Olympics. Support your country. Uh, You're not a Bill yeah. Nye for scotch. I am. I mean, that's what I, that's what I'm I love telling about you. Scott. Protein you, models. Okay, so your, I'm so all your over video, that. you got dressed like Bill Nye. That's what we're doing. Lab coat and all. <laughs> Lab we'll all be on. protein models. You can explain oh, you what we do. His <laughs> evening jacket. His evening jacket. Yeah, that's right. evening. That's, that's, that's Excuse me, I'm going to get my jacket on. <laughs> this is pajama. That's what he used for a rope. Is that a problem? Oh, God. Honey! Sorry. Well, busy. Hey, does Telex have an after show that we want to make Telex sure everybody Telex does knows? have an after yep. show. Right. Make sure you guys tune What's in. What's the topic tonight? Make sure you post your link in there, uh, Telex, so we can get in. I don't know what he hasn't said yet. Yeah, we better hang on until he can at least get the topic. We yeah. don't want to leave we'll, him. We'll wait until he gets the topic. Put the link and, up in um, the topic. We're putting him on the spot. Oh, he does. He's going to do. Glenn Spade 12, the flooring PX, PX cask, and two sale. You know, I, wow. I, and not to put you on the spot, He's Todd, I was it. disappointed that you haven't sent us some of that Ardbeg 20 something. Yeah, what's yet. up with I that? Mean, I really thought that you had a bottle, and I mean. Maybe he doesn't <laughs> anymore. <laughs> Are you kidding? Well, me? If, if, I, if I were Telex, I wouldn't have any more. <laughs> no, I, would, I sure wouldn't be I sure wouldn't sending it. To, uh, uh, I'd be hoarding that shit. Anyway, thanks everybody for chatting. I want to say one more thanks to Tom R. again for yes, the old Pulteney. Uh, Love Amazing, Pulteney. appreciate it, guys. Tom, that was delicious. Um, nice job. Again. Wow. It happens a lot around here. Yeah. Yeah. Too. We will see you Especially guys Thursdays. next Thursday. We'll have a release this Monday as well, and maybe some other extra stuff coming up. So Sounds good. Thanks a lot, guys. Happy Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you guys. Happy, Happy Thursday. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Cheers, guys. See you, gents. I might need another glass. Mm.